This broken link checker tool will recursively scan every page of your website, testing both internal and external links, and report to you which ones are broken so that you can fix them. This is important not only for a good user experience, but also for search engine optimization. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and use this open source version of Broken Link Checker. Head over to the Broken Link Checker repository on GitHub, which I have a link below, and you will see an overview of what this tool is capable of. I'm gonna walk you through the installation and usage right now, so let's go ahead and get on into it. First thing is to install NPM, and since I'm on Ubuntu, I can execute apt install NPM. If you're on Windows or Mac, check out these instructions for installing NPM. Once you have NPM installed, we can use it to install Broken Link Checker with NPM install Broken Link Checker dash G for global. For future reference, we can see usage and options by typing BLC dash dash help, and we'll be using some of these options throughout the video. Okay, let's finally scan your website for broken links. Type BLC followed by the full URL of your website, then dash R to recursively scan, and O to maintain the order of the links. And when you hit enter, the tool will begin to scan each and every link on each and every page of your website. Notice here how it's excluding some links, which that's actually okay because if we quickly go back up here to the documentation, you'll see that by default, it's only scanning clickable links, media, iframes, and meta refreshes, and it's not scanning CSS, scripts, forms, and metadata. Anyway, as a tool scans my site, you'll occasionally see a broken link in red like this one right here, which will fix this and all of the other ones later. Now, I'm not sure why, but for some reason, the broken link checker got hung up on this one page of my website. So I canceled the scan and tried again, but the same exact thing happened. I disabled a plugin on my website that I thought might be the problem and also added the verbose option, but it consistently hangs at this part of the scan. So I decided to manually exclude this page with the dash dash exclude option. And that did the trick for me. As you can see here out of the 6,000 plus links on my site, 42 are broken and it took just under four minutes to do the scan. The next step is a fun part where you get to go back through the output and manually fix your dead links. The trick here is to visit the URL that is reported broken. Sometimes the website no longer exists, so you can remove the link, and other times a page doesn't exist, so you can update it to another page. For me, there are a few cases of external links to an HTTPS site where the site only works over HTTP, so I made that change. Finally, you'll likely see some false positives, like I did with All Trails and Amazon, where Broken Link Checker reported them as broken due to a 404 error, whereas they actually work just fine. So after you fix all your links, run BLC one more time and exclude any external sites with false positives like I do here. And what I ended up with was just two broken links due to Air No Econ Reset, which I also deemed as false positives. Broken Link Checker is a powerful command line tool, and if you want to get more comfortable on the command line, then check out this video right here and subscribe.